Welcome to our virtual National Poppy Day presented by the American Legion family. I'm Nicole Clapp, National President of the American Legion Auxiliary. Coronavirus has interrupted our lives, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't observe this very important day. As many things in our lives, it's just going to be a little bit different this year. We hope you will stay with us for the entire program where we will observe the day and talk about the importance of the poppy and its origin as the memorial flower. If you can't join us for the entire program, don't worry. It will be available on the American Legion Auxiliary National Headquarters Facebook page to watch and share. Every year across America, millions of poppies are distributed in exchange for donations. These donations help veterans, military, and their families in a variety of ways. One of those ways is to support national and local veterans creative arts festivals and competitions. Today, you can harness the power of the internet and make sure these veterans, despite the physical limitations our country is facing, continue to reap the benefits of expression through the arts and do not feel a further impact of the pandemic. Please visit the American Legion Auxiliary Foundation's website page at alafoundation.org and click on the donate button at the top of the page to donate to the Veterans Creative Arts Festivals. Your gift will help further the American Legion Auxiliary's mission and assist veterans across our nation to find healing through the arts. We urge you to reach out to your local American Legion post, auxiliary unit, or your department headquarters office to see how you can help and donate during these times. Thank you, and remember, we are all in this together. I now turn the program over to National Americanism Chairman Denise Conrad, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm Denise Conrad, the National Americanism Chairman for the American Legion Auxiliary. I would like for you to recite with me the Pledge of Allegiance by placing your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As we bow our heads, dear God, as in the spring of 1919, when beautiful red poppies bloomed in the battlefields of France, where so many of our men fell in battle, our love for the poppy and all it represents continues to bloom. As you recognize each of us with your many blessings, we recognize the memorial poppy as a symbol of remembrance of those who made the ultimate sacrifice and those who continue to serve. We shall never forget the sacrifices they and their families have made for us. Our memorial poppy has endured for 100 years. We ask your continued blessing on our servicemen and women and their families. Keep them safe and grant their families peace. Let our memorial poppy continue to be a symbol of love for our veterans, our servicemen and women, and all who support them. Let it stand as a commitment to the rehabilitation of our veterans, support of their wives and children, and let it continue to be our emblem of faith. A faith which we keep with all who died through service to the living. Lastly, Lord, we ask your continued blessings on our President Nicole, our organization, and our members. Amen. Well, good morning, friends. Uh, this is Bill Oxford, National Commander of the American Legion, coming to you from my home in North Carolina. I'm really excited uh, to be with you today. The uh, dedicated volunteers and members of our American Legion family never met a challenge we couldn't overcome. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic is no exception. Here we are today, adapting to our surroundings and making this year's National Poppy Day one that people won't forget. I hope you also won't forget the brave men and women whose sacrifices are eternally symbolized in the bright red poppy. May we always hold them and their military service in our hearts and minds. On this National Poppy Day and Memorial Day weekend, let's make sure our service members, veterans, and their families remain part of us forever. Uh, gratefully, I thank you. Hi, everyone. 
On behalf of the Sons of the American Legion on this special National Poppy Day, it is my honor to bring attention to the thousands of American Legion Auxiliary volunteers and members of the American Legion family who distribute poppies, all in the name of our fallen service members. Every year, people are reminded why this flower is so significant and why we must never forget those who perished while in uniform. Our country is strong and resilient and the members of the American Legion family are helping to make it stay that way. Continue taking care of each other. Thank you. Hello, I'm Nicole Clapp, National President of the American Legion Auxiliary, and I'm here today to talk about the poppy, the memorial flower of the American Legion family since 1921. The poppy is there as a symbol for those service members killed in action, and also as a remembrance of our veterans and the service and their sacrifices. Poppies are distributed by the American Legion family any day of the year, but definitely around National Poppy Day. Poppy Day is the Friday before Memorial Day, and I hope that you'll consider wanting to distribute poppies. So please consider National Poppy Day as an opportunity to educate as well as distribute poppies across the nation. Please go out to our website at alaforveterans.org to learn how you too can be a part of this very important effort to honor our veterans, service members, and their families by distributing poppies. So thank you very much for your consideration of National Poppy Day. Good morning. Normally I'd be on my way to Boston making poppies on the train. But since I'm working from home, I still put an hour in and this is my hour's work this morning. I've been asked to show how I make poppies. But first, let me tell you that when you fold the petals, you fold them in half, and then you put the other one opposite that with the opposite fold. Now, you take the green stem, you fold it into a shepherd's staff. You take the green and black, which symbolizes the life and the death of a soldier. You place it in the shepherd's hook and you let God wrap himself around the soldier. You take four blood red petals. The first one stands for the father, the second for the son, and the third and fourth stands for the Holy Spirit. The final step is you take the armor of God and you wrap it around the veteran. And that is a poppy. I'll do one more just to show you how it looks again. You take the stem, you fold it into a shepherd's hook, you place the green and black which symbolizes the life and the death of a soldier. You place it inside the hook, you twist it around letting God wrap himself around the soldier. Then you take four petals, one for the father, the second for the son, and the third and fourth ones are for the Holy Spirit and God wraps himself around the veteran. And that's how I make every poppy every morning. Have a nice day. I'm Marge Christensen with the American Legion Auxiliary in Arizona. I am also serving as the poppy chairman of the American Legion Auxiliary's Girls Nation program in 2021. I'm here today because I'm hoping that you will want to participate and make next year's program a very special one. These young women will go to Arlington National Cemetery, our country's most hallowed ground, and there they will place a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, a place where every step, every pause, Every breath, every turn is in honor of the men and women who have served and died for our country. The night before we go and place the wreath, they will create the wreath. And that's where we hope that you will come in. We would like each of the individual poppies that is placed on the wreath 
to have been made by a woman who is currently serving or has served in the U.S. Armed Forces. In this way, we can create a beautiful illustration of the contribution that women have made to the freedoms we enjoy today. And we can also take those women with us through their poppy to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, where they can personally give honor to the men and women who have died for our country. If you are currently serving or have served in the U.S. Armed Forces, if you know someone who is serving or has served in the Armed Forces, or perhaps you work with an organization that includes women veterans, we hope that you will contact us at the email address on the screen and we will send you everything you need to make and return a, an individual poppy, which we will ensure is placed on the wreath that will go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Ms. Melina Michael, a Georgia educator, while teaching a class of disabled veterans, realized that there was a critical need for financial and occupational support for these veterans. And after reading in Flanders fields, she was determined to use the symbolism of the red poppy as a means to accomplish her goal. In August 1920, she approached the members of the newly formed American Legion before their convention in Georgia with her proposal. Her persistence paid off when the American Legion delegates voted to adopt the memorial poppy as the United States National Emblem of Remembrance. The distribution of poppies began in 1924 when the American Legion Auxiliary also recognized the importance of assisting returning veterans financially. Since its adoption almost 100 years ago, billions of dollars have been raised to support disabled veterans, military, and their families. And in May 2017, once again, the American Legion successfully petitioned the United States Congress to designate the Friday before Memorial Day as National Poppy Day and a Day of Remembrance. The American Legion and the American Legion Auxiliary Organizations have enabled Ms. Michael to keep her promise to reserving returning service men and women by assisting them with funds raised from the distribution of poppies. Her legacy continues as each poppy holds the message, I remember.
Thank you for joining us today. We ask that you help spread the word about National Poppy Day on your social media channels. Also, please consider going to the American Legion Auxiliary Foundation website, alafoundation.org, and click on the donate button at the top of the page to give for creative arts festivals. Please be safe and thank our veterans, military, and their families for their service to our country.